and we've got to get through it a couple more days before we finally start to see some relief. Here's even a live look at Alta up at Albion Basin where even if you're going to the higher elevation, you're not going to get relief. That smoke is statewide and it's even up in our mountains. So unlike the winter inversions, when it's better up above, it's not like that with the air quality we're seeing right now. And let's break down for you how long this is going to last. Today's going to be the worst of it. Tomorrow, it'll stick around. We'll be down to that unhealthy for sensitive groups category, the orange category. By Wednesday, we get a little bit of relief, although that smoke's going to linger. It's going to be a lot better than it is today. So let's take a look at those temperatures as we're getting you out the door if you do have to spend some time outside. We're nearing 90 degrees now in Salt Lake City. It's about what it felt like at this time yesterday, but it's going to be much warmer this afternoon than it, than it was for your Sunday afternoon. Mid to upper 80s along the Wasatch Front, 90 in Tooele, Park City. You're already at 84 degrees. And we're at 92 right now in St. George, 86 in Moab. And those temperatures are climbing fast. Fair skies across the board. Rain showers last night in southern Utah, those tapered off. All you're seeing is smoke across the state. And so the high pressure that's in place over central California, it's the placement of it that's pushing that smoke into Utah. So high pressure is building, which means it's going to get hot. And then the flow around that high pressure means smoke is pouring into the state. But as I mentioned, changes are on the way. Let's talk about those changes. Tuesday to Thursday, those are the days we're keeping a close eye on. Uh, we have moderate to heavy rain. So Tuesday, we're going to stay smoky and hazy, but in the afternoon, we're going to start to see some some of those isolated thunderstorms and showers popping up. Some of those could be severe. They're going to be more likely Tuesday night. And even for folks up in the mountains, we could even see some of that rain changing over to snow around 11,000 feet. That's going to be Wednesday night because of a cold front that's moving through. So if you are going to be camping up in the higher elevation by the middle of this upcoming week, be prepared for those colder temperatures. And over the next several days, we'll be watching those areas where flash flooding is going to be a big concern. It's going to be those areas mainly in southern and central Utah that are normally prone to it. And with all that, not only are we getting rain, but we're going to get better air quality. Thank Thank goodness. So Salt Lake City, you're going to be in the mid to upper 90s today, about five degrees above average, sunny, smoky, hazy. We're not getting a break from it today or tomorrow. Most valleys will stay in the 90s. Even Park City will hit 90. We'll hit that century mark in Moab, 104 in St. George. And here's where the changes come into play. Tomorrow, it will stay smoky and hot. But by Tuesday afternoon, that's when we're going to start to see some of those heavy downpours. Widespread rain Tuesday into Wednesday. It sticks around Thursday. Those temperatures, they plummet. And we dry out and warm up for your weekend. But it's not going to be too hot. You'll be in the mid-90s in southern Utah. And in northern Utah, 97 tomorrow but take a look at this rain picks up Tuesday into Wednesday we're going to be about 20 degrees cooler on Wednesday down to the mid to upper 70s that rain sticks around Thursday and then by Friday into Saturday we're going to start to dry out and you're only reaching the mid 80s so you already have a beautiful weekend in store for you